How to stake BNB on Trust Wallet. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can stake BNB on Trust Wallet. So let's get into it. Now, Trust Wallet is a wallet that is available for you to install on your mobile devices, and you can easily go on ahead and download it from the Google Play Store, or you can even download it from your iPhone or iOS Play Store or application store to get started. Now, once you have downloaded the Trust Wallet app, you will first have to create your wallet. So I already have created my Trust Wallet account or wallet, and this is something to keep in mind. You will get a secret recovery phrase, and make sure that you have that recovery phrase written down somewhere. Now, the default wallet will, you will get will be a multi-coin wallet, and the best part about Trust Wallet is that you can go on ahead and go into your wallets, and you can click on the plus icon on the top right over here, and create more than one wallet on a single application. So especially if you're someone that is doing staking the reason that i recommend this to people that are going to do staking is because staking involves risk and you do have a risk of you know losing your money and if you want to be able to do crypto staking without having to worry about losing money then you can create a separate account for staking specifically so you can do bnb staking on that account and then all the money in that account is reserved for staking and you can keep all your savings or the rest of your crypto in a separate trust wallet. Now, how do you get started with BNB staking? Well, it's very simple. First off, you actually have to purchase some BNB. So for that, just go into your wallet on the bottom left over here. And once you go into your wallet, you're going to click on the top right over here and click on buy. And from here, you're just going to go on ahead and buy BNB. So you have BNB Smart Chain and BNB Beacon Chain. You can choose either one of these. Go with the Smart Chain for most people. And then you will see that on the bottom, you have a ramp as your provider. Now, if you click on the providers, you will get multiple different options for providers. So you can choose any crypto provider of your choice. They will show you the best rate that you are getting and the different price points that are available for your exchange. And they will show you and recommend the best rate one. So that is one way to get the money into your trust wallet and then to start staking. Another great way to get funds into your trust wallet so you can start staking is to just click on receive over here. And let's say that I'm going to be receiving BNB Smart Chain. And then I can just copy this wallet address and then I can go into Binance or any other crypto exchange that I'm using. And then from here, I can go into my wallet and go into transfer and transfer it into my trust wallet. Just paste the address that you just copied from your trust wallet onto your actual transfer section. Now, that is, those are the two ways that you can get started with getting the funds into your account. After that, how do you begin staking? You can just simply click on discover over here. On the bottom, you can see the discover option. Once you click on discover, you will see on the top you have staking. So you can click on see all over here and you will see on the bottom you have BNB. So currently BNB has a APR of 4.89% on the Trust Wallet application. And you can just click on BNB over here, the BNB beacon chain, and you will click on stake. And you will see the available amount, the minimum amount you must stake, the average APR, and the lock time. So the lock time is a minimum of seven days. For those seven days, you will not be able to, you know, exchange your crypto or use that crypto or withdraw that crypto. So make sure you keep that in mind. That is the risk with staking is that if the coin that you're staking loses its value when it is locked in that staking then you would actually you know even if you're getting you know a good yield it would be of no value if the coin depreciates to more than the valued yield so simply click on stake over here and then you're just going to enter the amount of bnb you want to stake and then you will choose your validator so you have multiple different validators available in the active validators you have trust wallet staking and each individual validator has a different APR. So you can see you have BNB48 Club, you have Avengers Legend 3, you have Hashquark, you have Fuji, you have Anchor, and so many other staking validators. Now for beginners, it's simply just a lot easier for you to continue with trust wallet staking with the different staking platforms or validators available. It's going to be a different APR, but the APR could also be variable. So if I select BNB48 Club, 
and I started staking with them and what if their APR dropped? So that is something to keep in mind. Try to go with a validator that you expect will keep a, a stable APR. Now, your earning will start one day after staking and your funds will be inaccessible for seven days after unstaking. Now, other than that, you can unstake or redelegate at any time and you can unstake or redelegate at any time. However, your normal network fees would be applied to your staked BNB and you will only be able to access the funds after seven days. Now, next up, you're just going to click on next over here. And once you do that, you can just go on and continue over here to stake your BNB. It will also show you the approximate dollar value or whatever native currency you have selected. And this will show you like the native currency that you have selected. So you have a better understanding of how many dollars or whatever currency you use, you are spending in this staking. So you can see it will also show assets which wallet it is going to withdraw from and the validator so that is those are all the things that you will get to know now once we do that your staking will begin and you will be able to access funds after seven days after redelegation so whenever you need money you just redelegate and within and after seven days you can reaccess your bnb so that is how simple and easy it is to get started with staking on the trust wallet platform not only bnb but you can stake any other token as well if you go into their discover section you can see you have multiple different options for staking you have over nine tokens so you can even stake Solona, Polkadot, Kava, Cosmos, Tezos, Tron, and other tokens. So you have quite a different, quite a large portfolio that you can build with their staking platform. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Now, there is another very important thing you need to keep in mind. The average APR that they give is not going to be valid for a short-term investment. So the staking amount that they show you, like the APR, native FMOS has over 200 plus in APR. That could be APR for yields for like two years. So that is something to keep in mind whenever you are looking at the average APRs. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video